Welcome back to CTV News. She was here to advocate for good health and local software company Jade is taking her message very seriously. Olympic cyclist Sarah Ulmer was in Christchurch this week to meet up with staff and students. Jared McCulloch was also there. It's an exciting day for these IT staff, welcoming a New Zealand Olympic champion to their Christchurch premises. Retired gold medalist Sarah Ulmer is in town, speaking to staff of Jade Software and school students from around Canterbury about the importance of a healthy lifestyle, a big part of the company's values. Pretty incredible in terms of you know engaging their staff, motivating their staff, inspiring their staff, and uh, and getting involved with the community in terms of you know high performance and resilience type messages. This organisation is known for their healthy ways, creating challenges and events in the workplace to improve productivity and their everyday living. And the company's managing director says it's important to adopt the increasing changes in the workplace. If you look across society, we're asking people to work harder and harder. You know, we've got cell phones that are invading our personal lives. We're having to be online all of the time. And what we've found is it's now really difficult to get a balance between sort of lifestyle and, and work. Um, so what we've sort of done is try to combine it and we've introduced a work style, if you like. So introducing a lot of fun into the workplace, but fun that really sort of has a meaning for what we do. The company operates all around the world and being in this type of industry requires staff to be on their game. We're asking our staff to travel um, everywhere around the globe to implement our software and being resilient uh, both mentally and physically is a really important aspect of their role in terms of uh, just being able to perform well. And Sarah says she's surprised by the amount of positive fitness messages being spread around the employees. I'm feeling utterly unfit walking around, <laughs> walking around all the offices. Everyone here has been doing events and they're eating healthily and yeah, so yeah, very, very inspiring. She says there's oh, always time to fit in a fitness Sarah. routine <laughs> and it will help in the long run. Fitter people are generally happier or, and healthier people are generally happier. They can achieve more things and more productive, better frame of mind. Um, and I think if you can get into that habit, you know, of starting the day with some form of exercise and, 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 a, and a, a generally sort of healthy ethos, you know, you, you, can, you can generally accomplish a whole lot more. However, David says it's great to see the council adopting fitness zones for the public. I think in terms of what the council's done, they've put a lot of work into establishing, um, you know, Bottle Lake and uh, the, um, the one out at McLean's Island. I think with the earthquakes, it's been particularly difficult. Uh, but if you look at the bike lanes that they're introducing around the city, you know, it's, it's pretty good but I think the big onus is on workplace to actually introduce some of that into you know daytime routine for their staff. Sarah was the first New Zealander to win gold in cycling at the Olympics taking the medal at the 2004 Athens Games and she holds an order of merit for her services to cycling being granted a year later after her world win. And even though she's hung up her helmet for competitive cycling, Sarah is still busy working on a new cycle track project called Tiawa, travelling from Cambridge to Hamilton and of course looking after her family. I'm breeding actually, <laughs> yes, I've got two, two little daughters of five and a three year old. Um, so you're still pretty much full time with my three year old, yeah, she's, I'm full time mum with her but I also work on a, a bike path project in the Waikato. So we've built about 25 of those kilometres so fast. And she says it's great to see the region of Canterbury focusing on similar ideas. Canterbury and Christchurch in particular has got some great plans for, for cycleways you know, with, with the rebuild as well and they're, they're obviously placing real importance on, on providing for current cyclists but, but also a huge chunk of people that at the moment aren't cycling but would cycle if they had the right environment or felt like they were in a safer environment. So who knows, maybe more businesses will be inspired to take up fitness challenges as well. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.